what to do with your six hundred dollar stimulus check. Ooh, yeah. I like this topic. Um, so the six hundred dollar stimulus check is for individuals that have an AGI of seventy five thousand dollars or less, and that was on their two thousand nineteen tax return. Now, if you made uh, more than seventy five thousand dollars, anywhere from seventy five to eighty seven, that's gonna decrease, I think, by fifty dollars per five hundred dollars. Yeah, or something like that. So, you're if you make over eighty seven thousand, you're not gonna get a stimulus check. Um, a lot of people are saying that six hundred dollars isn't enough. You know, they wanted it to be at least twelve hundred, or they no, two thousand. Correct. Or they wanted it to be the two thousand, and of course, they have blocked that. Um, but as far as what can you do with your 600, what do you think, Chris? Uh, I mean, I think it's simple. Um, of course, it's going to depend person to person. Um, if you have some impending bills coming that you can't pay, obviously use it for that. If not, if you're pretty steady and up to date on your bills, I say use 50% of that. So $300 of it towards debt repayment. Now you're left with 300. I'll take 150 of that. Invest it. Even if you never invested before, I'll take that 150. I would invest in some stock, maybe an index fund. If you want to do crypto, because that's all the craze, do your research, but feel free to do that as well. And then that last 150, go buy yourself something nice, whether it be some Jordans or a video game or whatever. So the Jordans that these individuals are, are buying, are they going to do the dead stock route? Are they going to wear these Jordans? Like what what you <laughs> what you advising? I mean, <laughs> I'm saying do something. Because it could be an investment. Like yeah, I mean, well, so, and then there's even other levels, right? If you have a business that mm-hmm. you run, okay. I think you should use that whole $600 towards the business because that's what I would have done. That $600 um, would go towards the merch line. Gotcha. You. you know, so um, invest in yourself and invest, period. I mean, that's that's what I would do with that $600. And that's why I have to break down the 300 for uh, debt repayment, 150 towards investing, 150 on yourself. Yeah, I, I agree with that assessment. Also, if, if you're trying to say if, if you're around that sixty to seventy five thousand dollar range and you want to advance your career, why don't you look at some certifications that are around the six hundred dollar range? Um, you know, I just took a test. It was five fifty five. You know, if if I, I didn't took the pack, whole stimulus, man. <laughs> not, not my stimulus. But, <laughs> the whole stimulus, bro. Damn. But, but if if I were to get a stimulus and I want to advance my career. And potentially make money to where I don't get a stimulus check, I would then maybe take that and invest in a test or maybe some courses or something like that. Um, but for the individuals that are in that seventy-five to eighty-seven thousand dollar range, um, you're probably going to get something around three hundred, two hundred dollars, maybe one hundred fifty. Um, I believe those individuals probably know about investing. They probably have a four hundred one k. They probably have some type of general investing account. Or at least the acorns, who knows? I would take that $200 and start thinking about crypto. Uh, crypto seems like it's a fad. We don't know. It could be a new wave. It could be the new wave of the future. Um, that's something that I think you could take that 150 200 download you a Coinbase, download you a, a Robinhood, and put it in Doggy Coin or anything but XRP, maybe Bitcoin. Who no. Knows? That's the only one I'm gonna fight you. I want 33k a coin okay. on a Bitcoin. It's too high right now. Wait for the dip. Wait, wait for, for the, the dip. dip. Okay, it's gonna probably hit around 20k. Take your 200 dollars, invest in the 20k price range. But definitely do your research and start getting involved with crypto because it might be the new currency. Man, um, I was uh, reading a tweet where somebody says, "You want to know how to flip your stimulus into 5k?" What they say? They said take 150 of that, start an LLC, then apply for the SBA loan and get five thousand. <laughs> they still giving out SBA loans, man. Yeah, that was a part of the stimulus package as well. Okay. All right. So, what are your thoughts on that? Is I that a good route? Or what? No. If and you some... tell if you tell me you want to get six hundred and invest in the personal business, I'm all for it. But no, not buy an LLC just to get an SBA loan without a thought of a business in sight no okay say for instance that person had a business idea they get the five thousand dollars they spend it on equipment they spend it on this and that wouldn't that be a a decent idea if they were to then try to get that loan 
Forgiven? Um, I mean, I, I guess the only thing is I don't know if the business I think I mean last time around they said the business had to be starting started and operational mm. at a certain date before you could even apply for it. And yeah. I imagine it applies this time. So I don't think this loan is for new businesses. I think it's for current businesses that have been impacted by the pandemic. So when auditing time comes around, it might not be such a good idea to do that. Yeah. I now mean, if you have a current business and you want to expand that current business. Yeah. And you want to take a loan, then sure. Yeah, I mean, that bank's going to look at payroll for the last year, and they're going to look for your, you know, AR, PR reports, all that stuff. So, I mean, well, not for SBA, not not for for SBA, yeah, for the PPP, for the PPP. Okay, (laughs) that's a whole nother thing, (laughs) yeah, yeah, that's another thing, PPP scam, but um, okay, so you don't need all that for the SBA, Mm -mm. but it could be forgiven though. Is that still a fact? Um, the SBA loans? It, 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 I believe it could be, if depending on how you spend and how things go. But okay. I, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I do know that they want the business to have been started prior right. to you applying for the, the loan. Gotcha. And have been impacted. So my rule of thumb is not. That's not a good idea overall <laughs> in general. Just take that 600 and actually start a business. Right. Because a lot of people are caught up in getting LLCs. Honestly, you probably shouldn't get an LLC until the business becomes somewhat viable. Yeah. I mean, because you can pretty much do independent contracting until then. Exactly. Get a 1099. And until you have an employee, it doesn't really make sense. Exactly. I agree with that. Especially in the building stage, right? Like, if you're just coming up with the ideas like the merch brand, right? Yeah. We don't need an LLC at first because right now we're just getting designs made. We're sourcing wholesalers. We're looking at different options for marketing. This isn't the time to necessarily get the LLC for that. Now, some people would argue you get an LLC just because so it has so many years alive and you can get credit on it down the line. But then that's a whole other thing because, you know, I don't believe in taking out loans, but... Right. If you did believe in taking out loans, that could make sense. But then again, at that point, that's assuming you would have had that LLC years before you even started the business. True. That wasn't something that you just started today. Exactly. And then decide to take out an SBA loan. Exactly. Right. So I guess the moral of the story is you don't need an LLC to start a business. No, you don't. You, you can do, you can do that contract. after you get started. Right. And after you know there's a proof of concept and you're making something. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Like I said, I mean, you could do the, a 1099 and it's going to go to your personal tax return and you're going to have to pay taxes on that money that you made from that that job that you contracted out. So, I mean, if you're going that route, it doesn't make sense to have LLC. But as you said, if you got two, three contracts, you mm-hmm. need to start hiring some people, mm-hmm. you got equipment, you're working out of your house, you're mm-hmm. about to get a bit like um, an office building all kinds of stuff, then yes, LLC makes sense. And then when you take the LLC, you can then file it as an escort. So you don't have the, the same corporate tax as the LLC. That's yeah. a different conversation. Yeah, no, we, we went on the <laughs> table, The moral of the story is, you know what? If you want to take your symbols and start a business, that's a fantastic idea. But actually have a business in mind. And if you don't, start thinking about one. Right. Or, I mean, honestly, if you need to pay a bill, pay a bill with your $600. If you need to pay your rent, go ahead. If you need to buy some groceries, do it. I don't see a problem with that. Yes, Chris has made, you know, a great uh, breakdown of what you should do, 300, 150, 150. But if you need to take that 600 and wipe out something, go ahead and do that. I don't see a problem with that. Well, my question to you is this. What is one thing you say people should absolutely not do with their stimulus check? You should not spend... $600 $600 on anything that's not going to make you any money or reduce your debt. So um, I did like the idea of taking a portion of it and buying something for yourself because it is a hard time and you want to enjoy life. You can't yeah. just take the whole 600 of free money and then not be happy. Um, but definitely don't spend the whole 600 on going out buying bottles, hookah, oh, whatever. Man. I'm just, people do these I things. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh man, that's why I'm cringing. Yeah, because... I mean, stuff like that I would definitely stay away from. Um, the idea where people are taking out SBA loans, <laughs> don't do that. Um, well, I, uh, uh, not to interject, but yeah. this is what I had in mind. Um, what you got? Yesterday I was looking at the menu at Mastro's. 
and they have this Wagyu steak. I'm not sure if it was the Cowboy Wagyu or not, but they wanted $240 per four ounces. And Man, I could eat that. a 30-ounce steak. Right. <laughs> they can so, keep that. Nah, but, I mean, $600 stimulus. Okay. Say, for instance, you own a business, right? And you get cash for the, the business that you... Say you're a barber. Yeah. And your tax return's looking like $0. And you get a $600 stimulus check. Say you got real money coming in all the time. Um... And it's cash. What if you wanted to take that six hundred dollars and go to Maestro, Maestro's and spend that money on some on some steak? <laughs> what you think? Um, I just think that we should be very cognizant of, what, of who we're giving our money to and yeah. where we're putting our money, and that just doesn't agree with my own ideology about how I spend money. I mean, I would never spend six hundred dollars on a steak. Six hundred dollars yeah. on a sit down for two people. Now nah, I'll pass. I agree. On a really, really good occasion, two hundred dollars on two people, sh- sure. If you got it like that, but six hundred, I mean, you could just you could pay somebody's uh, junior college tuition with six hundred dollars. That's a good point. That's yeah, a good point. So, or you can look at it. Say, for instance, you're taking out a business partner. I might consider spending six hundred. It depends. I mean, if it's a group of people. That I feel like I might benefit from in the long run. Oh, so you're going to take out multiple at once. Just pay $600 and I might get a contract for, you know, I don't know, 100 well, day, 150 Yeah, but that's an investment. That's not... That's what I'm saying. That's not... Only only will I spend... That's not trying to impress some girl you met on the gram at no. Matt Shows. No. No, nah, man, do it. <laughs> 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 All right, man. Well, that's our video about what to do with your $600 stimulus check. If you got one, hope that gives you some help. <laughs> 